This afternoon, race fans upset with Kansas City Council members took their message to City Hall. They accused the council of speeding through a vote to close Kansas City International Speedway. Amy Holly is live now with the story. Hey, Amy. Hey, Elizabeth, race fans who have been racing their way uh, at the KCAR Speedway and the raceway and uh, near Nolan Road and 350 Highway since 1967 say this is really a case of eminent domain, maybe not officially through bulldozing, but they say instead through the city bullying them. The angry race fans gathered today outside of uh, City Hall this afternoon, and they accused city council members last week of racing a vote through to buy KCAR last week without giving the public notice for input. The city says it was just in, just a private business deal. The fans say the city threatened to condemn it if KCIR did not sell after homeowners complained of noise and diminishing property values for years. But fans say the city should give the track time and financial assistance to relocate. There are people that make their living as engine builders, as chassis builders, as oil distributors, as tire wholesalers that make money off of this track. And it means a lot to them, and they don't want to see this legacy of 40-plus years end today. We really didn't understand that there was maybe that, that great of an interest uh, on the, the part of uh, fans of, of, in the racing community. But we've received a great many um, internal emails, um, emails coming in from residents who are very supportive. Now, the city plans to build 93 acres of park there. They will not say exactly how much the deal is, but the fans today we talked to say saving that park there and even with the city helping to relocate it, that would also save dreams for race fans. In downtown Kansas City, Amy Holly, NBC Action News.